Oh, hey, G4T, Survive and Thrive TV. Just cruising through my parking lot here, uh, my local uh, commercial center, and headed to the gym. Um, I guess you can go to the gym for a week or a couple weeks on these free passes. So I'm like hitting up, there's like seven or eight gyms in my area. I'm gonna hit each one up for a week or two weeks and test them all out. And at the end of that time, I might sign up for one. But um, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm sometimes, it's a crazy world, man. It's a crazy world when you start opting out of the traditional American lifestyle. You, um, you start feeling like a teenager again, you know, where you had those summers off and you didn't do anything or after school you, you had nothing to do. Except now I don't play video games and I don't watch TV and now I can't even go online anymore just to keep my mental sanity. So the hours are getting longer, the days are getting longer and it's a time of contemplativeness and it's stuff I can't even really, I don't know if I can share it on YouTube. I don't know if you guys want even want to hear it. I look at the stuff you guys want to watch on YouTube and it's not the stuff that's in my mind. I mean, I'm pretty much a YouTuber that does stream of consciousness. I just tell you what's in my mind and what's going on. And right now, it's just attaining peace. It's just trying to attain peace in this world that's gone insane, you know, through commercialism, through, um, I mean, just riding over here, I saw some father smoking a cigarette, drinking, and uh, just yelling at his three-year-old or four-year-old. It's like, you know, you're damaging your children, man. You're damaging your kids. You know, people are hurting each other. I mean, the world's an ugly, ugly place. And so I'm just trying to find some peace and serenity in my own mind and limiting the amount of negativity that I, I, I allow to enter my brain. I really think your mind isn't set up. It's, 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 I think it's set up to be able to deal with maybe one or two crises a year at the most. But, you know, with the uh, internet and with the news and the news junkies we all are, you know, the, um, the crisis is hit every day, every hour, every minute on the minute. And um, I think you're destroying your, 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 your emotional state. Um, it leads to things like your hands shaking at night, you waking up in a cold sweat. And the thing is, um, that's not reality. At least it's not your reality. Here's the reality. I mean, look, there's the reality. My reality right now is a vacant commercial building, some upper scale condos in the area, a vacant parking lot with, you know, a building that's half empty with, you know, people working their day to day jobs with a, uh, you know, I mean, a sunset coming down with a cross right at the end. That's my reality. I mean, look at that. There's a cross right up there on that hill. What's that a sign of? That's a sign, George. That's a sign that, hey, you need to um, follow God, man. You need to stop uh, focusing on uh, all the negative bullshit out there. There's plenty to go around. <clears throat> Anyways, I I, I, I've been looking for maybe a part-time job just to keep me busy because, um, you know, besides being pretty, uh, pretty tough on the finances, <clears throat> Um, I, I, I need to probably stay busy and I responded to this one ad and it's actually this company called Maker Studio. <clears throat> it's actually local, local here in Corona and I'm talking with them uh, and these guys uh, run some of the bigger YouTube channels and I don't know if it's going to be really a fit because uh, you know I'm not really into that type of stuff but <clears throat> it might be something where I can learn and uh, who knows maybe they could learn something from me but kind of kind of kind of Last big accomplishment was it was Inflation U.S. It kind of went up in a pile of smoke because of some of the stuff John Lebed was into and and uh, Gerard Adams. But I, I still view that as accomplishment. And I'm just waiting for what's the next what's the next stage of what I, what's the next thing I'm going to work on and accomplish um, with video and YouTube. So I don't know. Um, Ren, is it going to be working with you in Sacramento? I mean, is it going to be you know who what what is the next stage for G4T? I don't know. Right now, I'm in holding pattern, uh, relaxed pattern, no mortgage, no car payment now, no insurance payment. Um, you know, uh, basically living a zeroed out lifestyle, just canceled the cell phone. So, uh, riding the bike, getting super healthy, man. I must be down to like 195 now. I don't know what. And I was like 225, 230. Blood pressure's way down now. Um, I gotta go. I gotta go into the doctor again. And get a get a checkup. But man, if you want to get healthy, guys, ditch your lifestyle. Ditch the car. Ditch the uh, 
suburban wet dream, which is just a, uh, it's a recipe for disaster. Not for everybody, but I'm saying in general, look at people around you, look at the cars they drive, look at the houses they live in, then look at their bodies, look at their minds, look at their mental well-being. We're sick. Americans are very, very sick. We need to have a reset on this entire lifestyle that we've been sold, you know, since World War II. It ain't real. That's not the way you're supposed to be living. And um, I, I wish there were more people like me to spend time with me because it's great talking to a camera and I know you guys hear me, but sometimes I miss human interaction and uh, a lot of the times I feel like my friends have abandoned me. People that are closest to me have abandoned me. And um, waiting for a lot of you guys to uh, um, step it up, hang out with g for t miss you guys, miss being around people. It's very isolating living a lifestyle on frugality. People shun you like your uh, lower caste in India or some some shit like that but I'll deal with it I'm fine I'll, I'm learning to be at peace with myself and I'll keep uh, doing YouTube videos somehow some way I don't know if you guys will like them but uh, God bless good to hear you in the comment section all the people that uh, you know I get along with you haters um, I don't even want to address it so God bless take care peace out